Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In it we'll be testing a tool that I made last night. Well I say made but it's in fact modified from a 25 euro impact driver into an impact wrench with a 3 8 inch anvil. This was somewhat requested by a viewer but more on that later. Now let me show you what I managed to do. I put a 3 8 inch anvil on it and I think I've made the world's cheapest 3 8 inch impact wrench. You've still got the three speeds. One, two, and three. Let's see how it performs. This is the slowest charger in the world, by the way. So the weight with the battery and new anvil on this tool is 910 grams. And let's look at dimensions. It's about 13 centimeters here and about five and a half here. And now the time has come to do some testing. First up, let's go after a hundred Newton meters. The hundred Newton meters going up first. Next up, let's try a hundred and twenty Newton meters. It took a bit of time, however, it got there. And I reckon with a proper bushing, it will do even better. And you'll see why I'm telling you this a bit later on. Next up, 150 newton meters. Let's try the other bolt. So I did put a brass bushing in here, which you can see is already coming apart. And so we can't extract the maximum out of this conversion. Unfortunately, the steel bushing that I ordered for this was lost in transit. So I did have to use a brass bushing, but as you can see, that's not the best option. Now let's test it into this piece of wood. This is a six by 100 screw on speed three. Eight by one hundred screw. And this is an eight by two hundred screw, speed three. So then, what do you think? First up, I'm sure it can undo 150 newton meters with a proper steel bushing. Because the brass one is disintegrating. And as I said, that's not very good for longevity. So get a steel bushing. Links to all the bushings that you need in a steel version down in the video description. Now, in terms of price, as I said, I got this on sale, 25 euros, anvil, 13 euros, and all the bushings that I used in there, about two euros. So moral of this story, don't use a brass bushing. So in that case, let's make the world's cheapest 3 8 inch impact wrench. This cost me about 25 euros including the battery and a very slow AliExpress charger. 
Of course, it was on sale. However, the regular price for the entire kit is about 35 to 40 euros. Let's see what we can do with this, as requested by a subscriber. Remove the two clips here at the bottom. And there you have the insides of the thing. Now let's concentrate on the anvil conversion. That was easy. Quarter inch hex bit anvil, disassemble it itself, so just push it out. Take this plastic off. Knock the bushing out. There you have it. This is the bushing that was in there. So in this case, we're interested in the height, which is one centimeter or 10 millimeters and the outside diameter which is exactly two centimeters or 20 millimeters so this is the new bushing with the same height and outside diameter however a different inside diameter in this case a 16 millimeter inside diameter pop it in this bushing that i'm putting in here is a very regular type bushing that you can get ready made however there is a better option so I'll leave you some schematics for it right here on the right. The bushing that I'm using in this case is a brass bushing, however I do recommend a steel one. Links for that will be down in the video description. The new bushing is a nice fit. But then again, if you can get the other one made, I do recommend it because I think it will be a better option. But if you're after just a plug and play conversion, this will be good enough. Now onto the anvil. The size here is 32 millimeters and the size of the hole at the bottom is six millimeters. As we're going after the three eighths inch anvil conversion, this is the best that we can get. A 3 8 inch anvil from a DeWalt. Links to this anvil down in the video description. It needs a bit of work this anvil to get ready for this impact driver into an impact wrench conversion because the diameter down here is 36 millimeters so we need to take off two millimeters from each side. So after you've done that for a day and a half what you end up with is this sort of thing. However, we're still not completely done with it because the size of the hole down here is eight millimeters and we need it to be six millimeters. So we need a bushing down here as well. And what we have in that case is this little thing. Okay, again, a link for this down in the video description. It should be a fairly easy job to get it inside with something like this or even with just a hammer. And there you have it. I'd say that's pretty much perfect. This is the tiny impact mechanism. And as you can see now, both of these fit quite nicely, just like the original. This is the original anvil and this is the new one. Time to put everything back together, but let's not forget to lube everything up a bit. This is what you end up with. Impact mechanism going back in. So if you've seen any other proper tools, you'll notice that they have three gears here instead of two. However, for 25 euros, what else can you expect? Two gears it is. 
Also, if you want to see a full review of this tool without any modifications on it performed, you can have a look at my other video. I will link it down in the description as well. So there is no need to take it apart as much as I did. However, it just happened to disintegrate while I was taking it apart. So you can just unscrew the top of this whole thing and then take out the front. Perfect fit. Is it turning freely? Yes, it is. Putting the clips back. Put these back on. 